Today we're speedrunning Pizza Tower, a really cool speedrunning game. Now our speedrun starts as soon as Pepino enters the first door, and right away we want to do a grab into a slide, which is going to help us get up to mock speed as fast as possible, and get us in this door, which is going to be the tutorial. Now the important thing about this game is stringing together a bunch of moves to go as fast as possible. Like in some places, I can stop myself by pressing the grab, turning the other direction, that way I don't hit the wall. Here I'm going to do another one of those grab crouches, and just going through trying to maintain our speed as much as possible. For these what we can do is roll through those and then we can also do a dive into a roll to make sure we don't hit the wall because Pepino can climb up walls but he won't if you just knock into it you have to jump into it or go on a slope into it now in this spot we're just going to keep our mock speed by turning before we make it to the opening and then over here we're going to do a super jump to allow us to go up there you have to have mock speed to do a super jump and you can also do a quick dash out of that and then we'll just keep going then we see some enemies we can use those to hit different targets we can also throw them upwards and now we're making it to the final part of the tutorial where we just have to run through here and hit a pillar john this causes pizza time which means we have to go back through the level to the start but for the tutorial we just go through a box and make it right to the door so it's easy now that's going to open up the new path for us and our first actual level is going to be john gutter and this level is an amazing speedrun level and really goes to show you why pizza tower is such a cool speedrunning game and one part of that is instead of using doors you can see that we just automatically go to the next part of the level so we can keep up our speed and we have to remember what we need to do before we make it into a room like for that one i knew right away i had to jump otherwise we would have knocked into a wall here i have to do a super jump that way i can get a topping and by the way these toppings are important because each one of them is going to give you ten dollars and we have to use that money to buy different boss gates and in total we're going to need 86 toppings or 860 dollars to beat all the bosses now in this stage i can do a super jump over to the left do another one to the right that's going to be the fastest way to get the topping and go over there before we hit the pillar john it's pizza time Time, and it's time to go back now we already have gotten all the toppings so we don't have to worry about those guys it's just about going back through the level and this is honestly one of the coolest parts you might think it isn't because we are just retreading places we've already been but it's super fun to do and there are new paths that open up a lot of the time like right there we have to take this bottom path where we have to go through all these guys they're trying to punch us and stuff then we can take this ladder down through there we finally go through this box and it opens up a brand new place that we didn't know about in the past so we can more quickly make it to the end now like usual it's just about remembering where i need to jump at certain places doing rolls so we don't hit certain things and finally we can make it over to the door in a really fast time i'm proud of that one now at the end of every level it's going to give you a grade this one i gotta be and that depends on how fast you went how many things you collected what your combo was but our grade doesn't matter we're just focusing on the time since obviously it's a speed run now we can go on to our next one even going between the levels is fun in this game just because the movement's awesome but this is going to be pizza escape and here's where the game is old also going to introduce different features for each level it's not always just going to be pepino's move set in some levels they give us other things to work with as well but at the start we just have to make it through here i do a super jump go in that door then down here i want to knock through those fork guys they're really annoying i hate them so much but we will take that accidentally mess that up a little bit but we can just climb up the wall and get the power up which is going to be the night power up now this guy is fun because you can get him on one of these slopes it'll speed him up and then you have to make sure you don't hit a wall and keep jumping when we need to then for here here, I will take this left path, move that cheese slime out of the way. Sometimes the cheese slimes are in the most annoying positions. I like going and doing rolls there, and we will get another night power up here, where I want to make sure I jump over this priest. The priest will basically get rid of your current power up, and we do need to get rid of it to go through a door, but we also want it for long enough to get the things we wanted, like that topping back there. Now, I will grab my third topping from that spot, then we're making it over here where we have to get a key, and normally you're supposed to get the night power up, but it's actually faster to just use base Pepino, so we'll do that. Now that we have the key, we can actually go over to the locked door. It's going to be to the left. I just have to run straight there. We'll do a quick turnaround by pressing grab in the air, then turning our direction. And that's how in the entire game, even if you have really fast mock speed, you can always turn around right away. So that's an important feature. But we will be taking the night. That will get us through the rat. And by the way, we do need those power-ups to get through any rats. The rats just do not want to let you through. So you need some extra help doing that. But we will do a couple of super jumps there. And we can see that there's this block. And we can use the night to get through that block and then go straight over to this priest and that basically allows us to skip a large part of this level we can right away hit the wall and it's pizza time we don't have to do some of the level which is really funny and i appreciate but we'll just be going back through moving these guys out of the way 
with a couple of cheese slimes, but I can just do one of those super jumps. This guy I have to jump to because the fort guy's so annoying. Unless you're going at mock speed and they get scared of you, you always have to jump onto them. Otherwise, it's a free hit for them. But we'll be making it through here. We do see our boy Gustavo every once in a while and also Mr. Stick. They're going to be cheering us on, telling us the way we have to go. But since this is a speed run, obviously, we already know that. Now through here, I want to do a jump there first. Another jump there as well and then make my way to that door. Almost to the end at this point, I can scare those four guys. You saw that I had mock speed. They saw me, so they were no longer trying to attack me. That's also why it's really important to keep up your mock speed. But there's Mr. Stick telling me to go this way. And finally, we just come up here. There's going to be our last topping there. And that'll be another level done. This time, another B grade. By the way, one thing you might notice is our timer actually gets paused during these cutscenes. And that's because this game has an in-game timer. So it's actually the game that's timing us rather than an external timer. So it's just more accurate. Anyways, it is time for our very first boss fight, which is going to be against Pepperman. Now, right away, we actually want to skip the first cutscene. That'll just save time with us having to look at his face. But for this one, what I'm going to do is jump, taunt, so we star ourselves in the air. He's going to hit the wall, and then I can hit him. We'll do that four times, and that's his first move. Now he's going to go for these jumping attacks. So I just want to be right by him, dodge out of the way, and do another hit there. He's only going to do that twice, but now we'll do jumping attacks where we can't hit him until after he hits the wall. So again, I will wait for that hit him right there and then he's going to spawn in the statues of himself which is hilarious when he sees himself he's like dang i'm looking so good and that gives us the perfect time to hit him that's going to give us through his first stage but each boss also has a second stage where things get harder now they do have the same general moves but as you can see there are things like statues different enemies that are coming through and they're hitting us making it a little bit more annoying but it's the same general game plan we just have to try not to get hit by these things like sometimes these statues in the most annoying spaces also Oh, by the way, look at all the paintings in the background. They are very creepy. I don't know why this guy loves himself so much. I mean, he's pretty weak to be fair, but hey, at least he loves himself, even though he's losing very pathetically. Still, that'll be that one. Now we have the statue and this time they actually take six hits. So sometimes you're not able to get it right away, but we'll get it after that. We might be able to finish out the statue. Perfect. Then we just have to hit him. He turns small. We can jump into him and that's going to kill him. That's the first boss done. Yeah, the bosses are a super cool part of this game and they'll give us a key which allows us to go to the next floor. But we still have two more regular stages in this floor to do first, so that'll be our goal for now. And for the first one of those two remaining leftover stages, we have right here, which this one is going to be Ancient Cheese. Now, I really like the beginning in this level. Right away, we want to go over to the right. We're going to take this bottom path. That way, we can get a topping. Then we'll do a super jump there, go over to the right, keeping up our speed, doing another super jump. And I just love doing that. It's so satisfying to pull off. After that, we just have to go through these cheese things, which, by the way, all of this cheese after you stand on it, it will disintegrate. So sometimes we'll use that to our advantage. Sometimes it's a little bit annoying, but we will get rid of that wrap because the feature of this level is they're going to add in bombs. Now, right here, I will want to do a dive straight over there so I can keep up my speed, use our key on the locked door. Then we will do a super jump over in this place. We have to deal with these sword guys. They're just as annoying as the fort guys, maybe even more so, but we can continue right there, make our way upwards. And now we're going to have another one of these bombs, which we have to get through the wrap. Like I said, every time you see a rat, you have to use a power up to actually destroy it. It can't just be base Pepino. We can't get mock speed or anything like that. So I'll use that for that other rat. Now in this room, I do want to do a super jump. We're seeing this fork guy. Thankfully he gets scared and it's also going to be another bomb room. Get rid of the rat. Then here, I'm just going to get a nice little turn and that's going to get us into the box. Then I do like taking care of the sword guy. So I make sure I get mock speed. So he'll see me at mock speed and he won't actually attack me. And that's because when it's pizza, to time and you go back there later in the level if you don't kill them now they'll be there later so killing them now makes me not have to deal with them later in certain places it's really important to do but that'll be another topping it's time to get the pillar john thankfully we got mock speed right there sometimes you're just barely not able to get enough but for this part we are just going through it's really nice because in some of these pizza times it gives you brand new places too instead of you just backtracking and going where you already went this is a completely new area that we have to make it through which is nice i appreciate it but with these guys i hate these red dudes they will kick you and basically turn you into a ball that has a really hard time moving those guys are so annoying but we made it through them we just have to jump up here do a super jump which allows us to go through this stuff they will spawn another one of these sword guys but if i didn't take out that sword guy earlier there would have been two of them and it's just a little annoying but we can see we have to make it through this way there is going to be a door some bomb guys all that sort of stuff i actually went a little bit too far you see that there is a new path that opened up that we could have just went straight up but kind of messed up that a little bit now this fort guy 
super annoying position. We do have to get hit there, but it's not the biggest deal since we still make it through, make it through another sword guy and a brand new path that opens up. And finally, this is going to be the end of that level. So pretty good. Pepino doesn't agree. He gave me a B, but I think it's pretty good. So now only one more level in this part. This time I want to go up here and this one is going to be Blood Sauce Dungeon, which this for me is one of the hardest stages just because it's extremely claustrophobic and you'll see what I mean in a second. I did kind of mess up right there, but that doesn't matter too much. But in this stage, there's a lot of these guys with the forks and the swords and also those fish. Those fish are so annoying, which you'll see later in this level, but there's just so little space. You have to make so many turns that this level is very complicated, at least at the beginning. Now there are also going to be these pizza cutter sauces. I do love the environment, like the pizza cutters. Those are an amazing thing, except when they hit me like that. But in general, I just want to try to keep up my mock speed as much as possible. I don't want to get hit by the flaming fire. That kind of hurts, but we're making it through. We'll ignore that topping for now since we can get it later, make our way into this section of the level. There's a couple of these annoying dudes. I can kill him. Thankfully also get him to be scared. And like I said, just keep up your momentum. Otherwise, all these people are going to be stabbing us, getting rid of our momentum, which sucks. But unfortunately, I did accidentally get kicked by one of those red guys. That was what I was talking about earlier. Now that we're in this section of the level, it does get a bit easier though. It's still kind of claustrophobic, but a little bit less so. And once we make it down here, it will be even better. I just have to jump up there. Sometimes these jumps, I do forget about just a little bit, but you can see there are much longer paths at this point, which is really nice. That's what I like about Pizza Tower. I don't like the crampness, even though this is a cool level. It's definitely not one of my favorites. Now that could just be me being bad. And that's the reason I'm saying that. But you know, it's my opinion. It doesn't matter. Still, we're making it over here. Now we get back to this cramped space. But I really like this part because you have to do so many cool turns around the different things. And it feels really good to do when you actually do it correctly. Then once we make it down here, that'll be all for the really tight parts of the level, at least for now, because we have this huge open blue area. And first, we want to grab this topping, turn around, go in this place. There's going to be a couple of pizza cutters. But also, John Wall is going to be right there. It's pizza time and we get to make our way back. So all things considered, not the worst so far. We could have done a little better, but the way up is so much more fun than the way down in so many ways. Just because you can actually climb up walls instead of having to dodge the walls. There are a couple ways in why I like the way up a little bit better. But for this one, we just want to keep up our speed, go over here, kill all those guys. That's always so satisfying to do. Even though the game does get stopped a little bit each time you hit somebody, it is fun to hit them because you know, they deserve it. Now here, I do want to do a super jump, save a little bit of time and just make my way through here, killing a couple of these guys. And now we get the tighter area, which we come up here. I don't want to take that upwards path. You could see there was a super jump, but that actually takes us into an eye area. And we don't want the eye areas because they're just extra stuff you can do for more points. But since all we're worried about is getting toppings, we don't need them at all. Now I will take this guy that I saw earlier, almost get hit by the blue dude. I hate those guys so much. They're always so scary, but there will be some new paths I can take. We do see the sword guy, not too worried about him. And yeah, as you can see, just going up is so much more fun. There's so much less mistakes you can make, I think is a big part. I say that as I get hit by that guy, but to be fair, he did bring me up. So I do appreciate that. I'll do a couple uppercuts to get some more height. And this should be the end of the level. I just have to do a jump and that'll be straight to the door. And surprisingly, that's an A grade. It did not feel very A, but I'll take it. Now that's going to be all four regular levels on this floor done and also the boss. So we can go straight to the key door. And that's also going to have this pink dude have to use Use his own strength to bring us up. They don't have a working elevator. It's actually hilarious. But for the first level of floor two, this one is going to be Oregano Desert, which I love this level. At the start, you can see all the pizza in the background. It's looking good, but we just want to go for a regular long run, do a couple of jumps. These clouds, they are a little annoying. I don't love them as much, but we'll just be making our way up. There's also these cheese guys. Those cheese guys will throw things at you in a really weird arc. So you do want to take care of them if you can. And now a nice thing about this level is all the toppings are going to be in these shops. So we don't have to worry about missing one of them. They're always going to be in a pizza mart in this level. Also those four clouds, most annoying position. It's very hard to dodge them, especially when you're going fast, but we'll just continue on our way until we make it to these crumbling blocks. Once you break the one that is injured, you're able to go through the others. So that's nice. Then through here, just a nice run until we make it to this door. And now we're in a cave right away. We're going to get this guy who gives us the air dash ability, which just look at Pepino's face, how much pain he's in right now you almost feel a little bit bad but then you realize you got to go fast so it is what it is now it's time for the second pizza mart this one is always so 
annoying, especially with the yellow guys, but we can make it through. That was probably one of the better ways I've ever done it, not gonna lie. And we'll also be able to go back outside now. We're making it through all these dudes till we can go back inside the cave. There's gonna be another one of these dudes. And you know, that's kind of what he gets. We kill him literally immediately after he gives us the power up. It is a power up for us. I'm not sure if you could call it a power up for Pepino. He does not look like he's enjoying this power up very much. I will make sure I take out those yellow guys though, because they can snipe you if you're not careful. And that'll put us back on the outside. Just do a straight run through. Unfortunately, four clouds right there. And then we make it to the cow section. I love the cows at this level because they literally just sit there. And anytime you hit them, they're going to kick you. Now, once we're here, I want to dodge these clouds. Unfortunately, what happened there was I went a little bit farther than I wanted to. So we will have to go back for a new power up because anytime you have a power up and you get hit by something, you are going to lose that power up. Unfortunately, still not the worst time loss in the world. And we can make our way over here. Just making sure we don't hit these clouds since we need the fire to explode that TNT. We can get our priest and we're back over here where this is a really cool part of the level. Now we're in a spaceship and there are so many cows in this spaceship. I want to be very careful not to get kicked by them because sometimes one cow will kick you into the next one and it can be very bad. But here I jump over him accidentally. I thought that box was another cow. So we will have to gain up some more speed. And there was the cow I was thinking of. But almost to the end of this part, we get to the pizza mart. We want to dodge all these cows and the lightning, climb up those stairs, try to dive over. Unfortunately, I was a little bit too slow, but still able to make it there and get our third topping. Then it's just time to hit the wall, go down. It's pizza time. And we can go grab our next pizza mart, which is going to be right over here. Now there will be these power up guys. We actually don't want to take them. Instead, they're just dying. Look at the faces on them once they get kicked by us. But we want to keep ourselves regular pepino through that part. Then as we run through for this one, we want to jump over that cow. Otherwise you go in this really funny cutscene. Not really a cutscene, like a gameplay cutscene, but basically you're stuck in the kicking animation for a while. So we can go a bit faster by just jumping over him, make our way into the next pizza mart, which this one we actually do want to get the power up. So I will take it from our boy. We have to do a couple of jumps, dodging the cows and probably the easiest pizza mart out of all of them. And that's also going to be all five toppings done. Now, just for the rest of this level, we're running through. We do have to go through these annoying clouds again. Thankfully, I got a really good cycle that time. We see the pizza mart that we came through earlier. That means we're almost to the end of the level. Just have to do a very good run on our way over. Get that super mock speed. I love the animation when you're going as fast as humanly possible with Pepino. He just looks like he's completely out of control. It's insane, but that'll be that level done. Another B grade. I'll take it. And now we're heading over to the right down here where there is going to be the next level. This one is super fun. Waste yard. You can see that Pepino is dead in the little introduction sequence. I don't know if we died and that's how we came to this place. Like is Pepino dead right now and we're just trying to get ourselves revived? I don't know. But what I do know is we're right riding on dead people. Yeah, that's what you do in this level. We can also turn ourselves into a ghost by hitting that one pepper, and that's going to allow us to go through things and also destroy a couple things. So yeah, two really interesting power-ups in this level. You got to love it. But now in this section, we'll just be running straight through here, taking a couple of these. I had to jump there. Sometimes I forget. And then that caused me to pick up that guy and murder him. Because of my bad playing, I had to murder a person today. Kind of unfortunate for him not really for me. Now we're going to take this ghost power up and you can also see these white chilies. I don't know if those are chilies or just regular peppers, but whatever they are, we are going to take them and they allow our ghost to go faster. And also if you get three of them, you can go through those white blocks. So they will be more important in the future. For now, I just want to make sure I get this guy. We will also get these three peppers. There will be one over there. We do a little loop-de-loop -loop for the last one. And then we're heading down here, gaining up some speed, hitting that so we can make it to the next priest and just being on our way, making it through all all those people that will be another topping into this door now for this section pretty simple stuff just running through at the beginning and i believe this is where our next pillar is so i will gain up my speed destroy him and we're back to a ghost but it's also pizza time and the pizza time in this level is so cool not just yet but you will see in a second for now we do have to make it through all this stuff destroy some pizza people get back to our regular pepino selves and we will make it to the end of there now you will see that pillar 
Killer John, as well, is also a ghost. And because of that, he's chasing after us. Super cool concept for the level. I absolutely love it. Like, just look at his eyes. Look how angry he is. But I am not going to stop myself, Pillar John. I'm sorry. I know that you are angry for me. But here, I'm going to jump up there, be able to get that topping. And if you just lightly tap Pillar John, then it's not actually going to affect you. But if we get really into his body, then he's going to send us back to the beginning of that section of the level. So we want to make sure we can dodge him as much as possible, which is pretty easy. He does kind of move with how fast we're going. So if we're really far ahead of him, he is going to get faster, but usually he's pretty slow. Now making it over here, we will get another ghost power up. Use this to go down, grab that guy, go through a couple of these boxes. Pillar John almost hit me. He was very close. I don't even know if you can call him Pillar John anymore. He's more of Ghost John because is he even a pillar anymore? Kind of sad. That's probably why he's so angry. We literally removed one of his defining characteristics, but I also don't care. That is going to be the A grade right there. And we are almost to the end of this pizza time. Just making it through here. Pillar John is no longer a problem for us we can just make a couple of jumps you can see we're now at the beginning of the level we finally finish out with a nice little twirl and that's that one done with another a grade i'll definitely take that now we gotta make it out of this section accidentally hit a couple of walls on our way sometimes that happens and i accidentally also went a little bit too far because before we go over to the boss room it's time for the farm level fun farm which we have special guest mort the chicken i love mort the chicken but we won't see him until a little bit later for the beginning we just want to do a couple of jumps do some body slams into these cliffs so then we can make it through a couple of boxes and stuff like that that we also have to get through but yeah pretty general movement at the beginning one interesting thing about this level though is they add in these ladders these are flying ladders that you can grab onto and then go up with sometimes we want to use a super jump instead of them but sometimes we'll go up the flying ladder it just depends on what i'm feeling like now for this one i also want to do a super jump that guy was just staring at me in my super jump form for like a full second that was kind of hilarious but here is where we're going to get Mort the chicken. He's a super fun guy. Now, in general, we always want to be spamming attack because that's going to allow us to go faster. And it also allows us to get extra height when we hit those little things like the hook things. But here is also going to be another topping. That topping is super easy to forget about. So I'm glad I got it this time. And as we make it through here, I also want to remember to crouch there so we don't get hit by that guy's sights. Now, I want to be very careful with Mort the chicken. I don't want to lose him because we do need to keep him to get through that rat. Then we'll just keep going through, get a nice priest power up it's kind of sad that you need a priest to get rid of your chicken friend do we really need him i mean the chicken's a nice guy but these guys are not i don't know how i did that so badly right there but we will get more the chicken again go up a couple of those keep doing some jumps people trying to hit me with all sorts of things but i don't care i will grab that that should be my fourth topping only one more needed and we are almost to the next pillar john we just have to make it through here do a couple of crouches there he is it's pizza time again and we want to head over to the right now for this one I do like grabbing there, doing a nice body slam, going through there as well. Hopefully not getting hit by all of those guys' fire. That's not fun. But we will grab our boy Mort, do a couple of jumps on these hooks. Not too much you can do to speed up that part, but make it through that, dude. And we're just going to keep spamming the button to attack just to make sure we're going as fast as possible. It's really important when you have Mort. But now down here, what I want to do is hopefully make it through that farmer guy. He was being very annoying. But that is going to be our next topping, and we're almost to the end of the level level now it will spawn in another farmer these farmers i swear they keep getting put in the most annoying positions i'm just trying to jump dude you don't gotta be in my way but that'll be the end of that level and yet again another b grade and now at this point we do want to head over to that boss gate and we're gonna buy it right away from mr stick appreciate that man just look how evil he looks when he's going away with that buddy this dude loves money but while it's actually getting made we're gonna go down to the fourth level of this floor fast food saloon and this one another level i absolutely love i know i'm saying that about a lot of these levels but to be fair this is a really cool game now for this one we're heading through we want to do a super jump onto that and that will allow us the perfect path to make it up there if i remember to jump high enough and also if i remember to get enough mock speed you know what happens now on this we're actually going to be racing against this horse guy now this is weirdly nostalgic for me because when i was a kid we had a horse named evil horse it was one of those rocking horses and basically one day we had a sleepover and one of my friends went out of a room to go and use the bathroom and they saw the horse there with a knife in its saddle so ever since then we called it evil horse yeah that's an amazing memory and to be fair this horse is pretty evil as well you can see by his face but anyways we need to get the evil horse and we need to beat him in a race and that's going to give us a topping each time there is one of those races there should be one right here you can see his face just how evil he looks just look how much he's smiling and stuff you know this 
man is a villain. Don't lie. But we make it through there. That will be our third topping. Now we also want to take this sausage. The sausage is also an interesting power up because it speeds you up. It makes you go faster than we normally would be able to. So we're going to have to use those for these buttons since they only give us a certain amount of time. We can jump off that, make it through the layer, and we're good to go for that one. And yeah, just keeping up our speed until we make it over to this key door. Now for this one, it's going to be another one of these races. We have to take the sausage, which I feel like Pepino should be having a better time. It looks like a great time, man. You're just chilling on it. He looks very terrified for his life. I wonder if he has control over the sausage or if it's just like going wherever it wants to go. Obviously in game, I'm controlling where the sausage goes. But yeah, Pepino looks a little bit too scared to just be riding this thing. Anyways, we will have to take another one of these buttons that will open up that path for us. I believe that is going to be our fifth topping. So we're done with those. And this is also where our next pillar John is going to be. So I will take that. It's another pizza time. And for this one right away, I want to go through that path. Thank you, Gustavo. I appreciate you telling me where to go, but he just kept moving his hand. Like I already know to go there, Gustavo. I do appreciate you're being a good friend. I don't know. Also look at that horse's eyes. He looks so angry at us there. Like he was not happy we were going through and doing this. <laughs> that was a little terrifying. Anyways, we just want to make it through these things. These fans are kind of annoying with how they work. Sometimes you get some weird angles with them and it's not too fun, but we should be about at the end of this level. I just got to make it down this ladder. There's a couple of these dudes. We got to make it past a little bit of movement. I keep accidentally not jumping when I should, wasting a little bit of time, but to be fair, not too much. And I believe that should be about the end of this level because we just open up this new path. Then we have to make a couple of jumps, somehow get through there. I did not even know that was a path you could take before this run. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, this should be the end of the level. We just have to make a couple of jumps straight over to the door. And there we go. Another B grade. I should be used to it at this point. But that also means it's time for our next boss straight over here. And this boss is going to be the vigilante. Now, right away, he's going to give us a gun and we have to shoot him a multitude of times in order to take out one of his hats. We can also charge up one of these shots, but you can't just hold the charge shot. As soon as it is charged up, it is going to shoot. So we have to time them. I like doing it as soon as he's done bouncing around. That's when you usually want to use one of those charge shots. You can see he stops bouncing. We charge it up. We're able to hit him and deal with him right away. So that's probably the fastest way of doing this. The most unlucky thing you can do though is those jumping attacks because we can't hit him with a charge shot or even any regular shots and he just keeps going for these bouncing ones. Dude, please stop, all right? I don't need three in a row. Little unlucky, but that should be fine. There's also all these ghost farmers who are coming through. They must be from the ghost stage. They heard from Pillar John how terrible of a person we were, but that'll get him through the first part. Now everything goes to black and we have to do this again. And this time, pretty much all it adds is more mannequins and stuff like that. Honestly, this is probably one of the easier stage twos of any of the fights. Like really nothing changes that badly, at least the way we're doing it. All I'm doing is shooting things. He can go and send down these cows. I absolutely love the cows. They're just such a funny addition, especially because they have no expressions in a game that is so expressive. Like fun fact, Pepino has more than 5,000 animation frames. It's actually insane. But anyways, we got him done with that section and now it's time for the duel. It says prepare to draw. We will wait to press our attack button until right there we finish him off and that'll be our second boss done which that also of course means we get another key and that was a c grade okay you don't have to say that was bad man i tried my best so now that we have all those levels done we can go straight to the next door see this pink guy struggle again i feel bad for you man and right away we're heading over to the left for this stage which this one very interesting right at the beginning though i don't like this part because it's very tight that you have to make your way through i tried to do a super jump there unfortunately didn't have enough speed so i'll just come back do a regular run through that one. And we just want to run our way through. I accidentally stopped myself. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted to keep mock speed, but we want to keep our mock speed here, hit a couple of those and we missed that guy. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. I also just dove into the water because I'm kind of not smart. But okay, here's what we want to do. We just want to run on the water. As long as we're keeping mock speed, it should be good. And yeah, that was really weird that that happened there. But anyways, it's time for the barrel. This allows you to roll and we need the barrel to make it through those mouse blocks that are really tiny. Honestly, pretty cool power-up. Not the biggest deal. Like it doesn't have the most mechanics compared to some of the other power-ups in this game, but I enjoy it. It's a nice little fun one. And to be fair, there are also a bunch of different mechanics in this level that you'll see as we go through. Also love these pineapple guys. They just look so cool and are also so fun to murder. Even when they're dying, they have a smile on their face. You know, these guys are awesome. Anyways, going through the mice block, we just want to keep up the movement with the barrel, make all of those jumps. Accidentally messed that one up, but it's fine. We saved ourselves and are able to kill 
rat after rat. Now in this section, we now have the key. So this time we can actually head over to the right. That way we can make our way over to this locked door. I love the thumbs up Pepino gives you when you open one of the locked doors. It's actually adorable. But now we get the next mechanic, which is this pirate captain who is firing cannonballs at us. This is such a cool mechanic and it's also really funny. Like, why is he doing this? What did I ever do to you, man? But we can also use him to our advantage, like in spots right there, where he's going to open up a new path for us. Now also we have this water, which is very slippery. We just go all the way through. That's also a fun time. Then we make our way through there, dodge all those cannonballs, are able to go on another slippery water section. And for this one, I just want to basically get a nice long roll all the way through, going through these things, making all my jumps, not getting hit by their cannonballs because they also very much want to hit me, but that'll be that room done. Then for this one, what we're going to do is just follow the cannonball, accidentally hit ourselves into it, but that should be fine. We want to take that guy, then head our way back up this ladder. And after that, it's going to put us right into a pillar john with that water. So it's back in pizza time. Now at the beginning of this pizza time, we're in the barrel. We want to keep our barrel as we're going through those rats. We get another barrel section, another set of rats, and also some electricity that we have to make it through. That part is kind of scary sometimes because I did get hit on it once. But we're back in this section where there is going to be this captain firing all of his cannonballs at me. I don't know what I did to you, man. Why are you so angry at me? But that's fine. This time we'll take this upward section. We have the captain back at us, but this is probably the laziest part of the speed run. Like literally all I have to do is hold the R button because there's not too much you can do to speed this up. I guess I do have to jump in some areas, but yeah, I'm just holding the R button. And finally, after all that, we make it over here and we should have all of our toppings so we can officially make it to the end of this level. We just got to do a little bit of running. Going on the water this time, instead of jumping below it, finally, there will be this exit. And that means we just have to make it through the claustrophobic section, doing a couple of jumps, move out of my way, dude. I don't want to lose my A grade if it is possible. And that should be another A. Yeah, feels good. I know they don't really matter since they literally don't affect the speedruns at all, but it feels good to get. Now we're heading back over to the right. We also see that Gustavo and the rat, they were fighting in the past, but now they've made up and they're actually friends, which will come in important for Gnome Forest, our next level. Right away, it does start us with Pepino though. We're just running through, taking care of cheese slimes. You already know the deal, just trying to go fast. And there will be a couple of sections like right here. We want to body slam ourselves, go through these sections. And yeah, in general, just some regular Pepino movement. Nothing about the beginning changes too much, except for me hitting way too many walls. But finally, we make it to this wall, and now it's the Gustavo and Brick Power Hour, because these guys are now friends, and they're actually the perfect duo. They have amazing mechanics, which only they can do, and it's a really fun time. Like, you can see what we can do with the rat is do a double jump, and then that allows us to destroy some blocks. We can also bounce off these walls. We can use our attack to give us some speed. And just in general, it's a pretty fun duo, and it's really crazy that they made a whole new moveset just for these two, because they aren't used in that many levels. There is another one for the speedrun that we will use them in, but like they created an entire moveset just for this. It's kind of insane. Anyways, what we're going to do for our toppings is you can see these pizza guys that are following us. We have to bring them to their house before their timer runs out. In some of them, that's pretty easy like this one. It gives you tons of time and their house is right there. That's going to be our first topping. But for others of them, it's actually going to take a bit longer. I mean, for the speedrun, we know exactly where to go. So it shouldn't be a problem for us, but that does make the toppings in this level especially easy since we already know where they're going to be. There's absolutely no way to actually miss any of the toppings in this level, which I always appreciate because less for me to remember. I already have to play this game going through all these cactus guys and stuff, get another pizza guy. There are also these wizards. I hate the wizards in this game with their electricity powers. I mean, they're kind of cute with the like their pizza outfit, but to play against, they're annoying. That will be our second topping though. I appreciate that and I knew it, wizard. I knew you would do something to me eventually. I also love the animation when we're running on brick. We have like the hardest job in the world where we're just trying to maintain our focus, trying not to die on this crazy rat doing all sorts of things, but going well so far. The one annoying thing about the Gustavo and Brick Power Hour is you're not nearly as fast as you are when you're Pepino, which Pepino's moveset is just so much fun. So even though this moveset is fun as well, it's just so good when you are Pepino. Anyways, we get another one of those pizza guys accidentally fall into a pit, which I believe is actually our first death for this speedrun. Kind of sad. We didn't get the deathless. That's still fine. It wastes literally no time because every time you do die, you just go back to the beginning of that room. So yeah, not too bad. We will get some power and we will get some time up there, able to make it through a couple of those, almost to the point where we are at the John Wall. Just got to do a couple of jumps, stomps over there. These cactus guys trying to shock me. I don't even know if they are cactuses. 
that's just what they remind me of. But let me know in the comments what they actually are. Anyways, we get some speed up. We can go through here, have a couple of these mushrooms, which we will jump on. A couple of guys trying to shoot us with arrows, but that's going to be our next pizza guy. And the wall will be right here. We just have to kick Brick straight into it. The look of pain that Brick had on his face as we kicked him into that wall. He did not look like he enjoyed it, but hey, we got to do what we got to do in order to go fast. And now you will notice we do have one last pizza guy, and this guy will be staying with us for pretty much the entire level. His house is super far away, and this is definitely the hardest topping to get for this level. But again, since we are speedrunning, we already know where to go, so not too much of a problem for us. We just have to take the correct pass. Here, I should have jumped a little bit earlier, but that's fine. And we make it through a couple of those places. This is about the ending, those wizard guys always being super annoying, but we can see the tutorial is right there. So that allows us to go back to this guy. That's actually the funniest transition screen. I love it so much. But that is where we're going to collect our last topping, delay delivering the guy there. And finally, we should be about at the end of the level because there wasn't too much stuff we actually did with Pepino in this level. So there we go, which is gonna be another B for us. Also a really long level compared to the other ones. That one was almost five minutes, but part of it was because we were using Gustavo and Brick, which like I said, a little bit slower than Pepino. Anyways, we're gonna do this similar trick where we go ahead, buy that door right away. And while it's getting made, we'll go over to mini golf. Now this might be my favorite stage in the entire game. At least it's very far up there because it really reminds me of Fancy Pants Adventures 2. If you remember, there was a golf part of that. And yeah, this reminds me so much of it. I don't know why. I don't even remember that mini game too much. I just remember playing it when I was a kid. It was such a fun time. So yeah, let me know in the comments if anybody knows what I'm talking about. But anyways, what we have to do is bring over this yellow guy over to the basketball hoop. And to do that, we can either run into him or use our golf club to hit him in certain places. Also, there are these noses, which will suck him in and try to get him to stop for a while, which is something sometimes annoying like with this guy I just want to bring him straight to the goal but we can still do that go ahead get our first topping head down through here and then we also have to get thrown by this guy who turns us into a ball so we can make it through that rat now for the second part there is going to be this stage we want to get a couple of these toppings but this is actually the first stage we will be doing where we're not getting all five toppings like I said at the beginning of this video we only need a total of 86 toppings throughout the entire game so for some of these levels it doesn't make sense to get all five and in this one, we're only going to get three. And it's good for this area because each topping area has its own distinct part. Like you saw, that was the fry course. And this next one is going to be the soda course. We'll also be going in here to get our other topping. Now for this part, I want to make sure I make it over that dude because he can turn you into ball. It gets really annoying, but we also want to use him right here. I'll try to knock our yellow dude up there. So he'll throw him in the perfect spot. Then we want to knock it onto that platform. I will aim right there. That's perfect. We can do an uppercut. Then we can take it from the nose and we should be good to hit our boy again bring him over here try to dodge this annoying golfer dude he's just trying to be in my way but that will be the perfect spot to get it in there and that is going to be our third topping so now we're just going straight to the end we're not even going to do the burger course because it doesn't matter for us and we have a very interesting trick that we're going to do here so what we want to do first of all we'll grab this guy we're bringing him over to the area he needs to go and i want to make sure that this burger guy stays alive because he's actually going to help me in order to go fast you'll see in a second. For right now, he's being a little annoying hitting my golf ball. I don't want you to do that. But now I'm going to grab him over and put him right there. Now he's going to be stunned for a little bit. And that means basically he's going to move eventually and hit the golf ball into the wall for us, which allows us to skip a part of the level and go straight back here instead of having to take a whole journey. So now we can go directly back to the end of this level, which is going to feel really good. We'll do a couple of jumps, get transformed into that guy. I did not want to there, to be honest, but that's fine just keeping up our speed doing a couple of jumps through all these people try not to get captured by that guy but unfortunately i went a little bit farther than i wanted to doesn't really matter to be honest though and finally we're at the end of this part of the level one little trick i do is anytime there's an elevation i jump on that elevation because i know there's a wall close by it and that's just how i make sure i don't lose any time and that's going to be that level another b now next up we're heading over to our next boss which this one is going to be the noise and the noise is a very interesting guy he starts out the fight by giving me the middle finger, which kind of hurts my feelings. And then he shakes his butt at us when he's done with his attack. But basically, we just have to wait for the noises attacks to end. He's going to become vulnerable and then we can hit him after that. And he has a couple of different attacks. He's going to use this pogo stick one. He also spawns some bombs sometimes. Usually with these bombs, I like to parry them just to make sure they're out of the way and they don't keep jumping around. Then he also has this dive attack where there he jumps. He keeps shaking his butt at us. I don't want to see that, man. 
man. I don't know why you're doing this. I guess it's to annoy me, to be fair. But we can hit him there. Did get hit a single time. Doesn't really matter. Now for the skateboard attack, he does a little jump. We can wait that out. And finally, he'll do another one of these, which this time he's going to bounce multiple times. But we can hit him with the final move. And that's going to be the first part of this fight done. We do go for a little tussle until the balloon in the background goes and expands. It is now very much looking directly at us. Yeah, this is a very weird boss fight. <laughs> but yeah, just like general, same kind of boss fight, but he will add in an extra move. Like with that skateboard one, he threw the skateboard in after us. Or for this bomb one, we're going to get close to him. He's going to explode, and then we have to actually hit him the second time. So he's trying to make it a little bit harder for us. I will try to jump over there. Unfortunately, that guy's pointy nose caused me not to hit him there. That's kind of sad. But I will grab you for the fourth hit. There will be another one of these skateboard attacks. I jump over the other skateboard, and we can actually use these extra guys to hit him a second time if we want to which i'm gonna try to do for this fight like we can get him vulnerable before he normally would be if we use them at the correct time but that's gonna be that one i'm gonna try to grab this guy i will get hit by his nose but then i grab him hit him there and you can see he's already vulnerable we get into another fight and at the end of this one we break up he gets a gun and is about to shoot us but then his wife comes by it takes him away yep that's that fight it's a very interesting ending but hey i'm gonna take it that's another key and also another grade now before we go up the elevator there is going to be one last level of this section of the map we have to take that olive thing all the way up here and this level is going to be deep dish nine so this is the game space level and this one is very interesting first of all we get these rockets which are super fun you can just see how terrified pepino is when he's in them though he is not having a good time but i guess to be fair he's also not really having a good time when he goes in these olives we still have to use them though that way we can go upwards they're a pretty fast way to do so and there's all these different space enemies like these guys in their rocket ships and stuff trying to shoot us we're not too worried about them we do have to take these rockets to destroy these cheese things though and that's going to give us our first topping then i'll take the olive up here we have to go to that door kind of missed it a little bit but we can just do a nice uppercut up there and this is where our next topping is going to be so what i want to do is grab this rocket ship go through that cheese guy just keep our momentum that way we can keep up our mock speed get that and then grab our second topping nice and easy then for this this one we see that there's another rocket ship right at the end of there so we want to go through a couple of these cheese dudes until we make it to this rocket ship we ride it and you can see that pepito is not having a good time especially because we literally just crash landed in space so that was probably not the most fun thing in the world for him to do but we just want to run through all of those things until we make it to this door there's going to be another rocket ship and here you can actually turn around the rocket ship pepito has to use the full force of his body to do it but we are able to turn it around so that's pretty cool then we'll get into an olive go over here see another rocket ship and i accidentally exploded that one but then i also realized that i made a mistake because you can see the only reason to have that rocket ship was to get the pink guy which we don't need he doesn't count as a topping so a little bit of a waste of time still not the biggest deal now we can go down here go into this box and in this section what i want to do is come down here so we can get this olive go up in this direction do a couple of wall climbs there will be this rocket and also a topping we can get which puts us into an olive and back into this rocket ship pepino yet again having the best time of his life but this puts us onto this cheese planet which this is definitely an interesting one there's definitely some interesting planets in this universe but we want to grab this rocket go through that cheese and that's going to give us another topping we can get through the rat get the wall and that is going to be all the toppings done we just got to make it to the end which same old same old we're using olives and stuff like that to do we'll make it through all these cheese dudes and yeah pretty much just about going fast trying not to waste too much time by doing stuff like that another rocket ship we got to make it through some cheese and by the way if we do get in those portals you kind of saw it earlier but they would send us back to the beginning of that part of the level so we don't want to go in them a few times sometimes they are important to go into like for that portal but other times we want to avoid them at all costs almost at the end of this level though we have to hit that which is going to switch the blocks from the purple to the pink ones and we can change them back to the pink ones there then we are almost to the end we just have to make a couple of jumps straight over to this rocket ship one final time pepino gets to go for a crash landing which puts us right back at the door and that's all floor three done also a b grade so now we're heading back down we'll be going into the elevator and again pink guy you already know what he has to do so now we're on to the fourth floor and the first level we want to go into is straight over to the left and i love this stage it's the pig city so right away it starts us in somebody's house and we're gonna leave their house i don't know whose it was it's also not really my problem but 
we're gonna be going inside this taxi where we just have the most awkward taxi ride of our life <laughs> Pepito, he's a little bit anxious as you may have noticed by this game but we have to make it through here and we see the police and we're going to be murdering him that way we can make it through because otherwise he's just gonna keep holding on to you so you got to turn into him making sure you have mock speed when the police catch you now i'll be going over to the left keeping on our way doing a little jump there and there should be our second taxi ride over here always just the awkward taxi ride but this time i'm gonna get up a little bit of speed we will see this police guy i accidentally went over to the right a little bit too soon but after that we can take care of him and actually skip that guy if we just hold over to the right he's not able to catch on to you but we can come up here that is going to be our second topping now we'll be heading over back to the return taxi another one of these you already know and now on our way to the third taxi we want to keep going over to the left and there's going to be this upwards path we need to take and then do a body slam onto there another one <laughs> I don't even know if I have to keep commentating on them. You already know they're amazing. But anyways, for this one, we want to make it up here. I don't want to actually use that wrap balloon just because it's going to take a while. And instead, we can climb up the wall, which is so much faster. Here, I also want to climb up the wall. Then I can get a speed boost. There is going to be this police guy. We can very easily kill him, make our way through, get our next topping. And then this time, when we go in the taxi, we realize it's actually the police. So yep, the police finally got us. We're in jail. And that means it's time for Gustavo and brick yet again so for this one we will be bringing them over and you will see there are more taxis but this is our other level where instead of getting all five toppings we're only going to get three so we don't need to get any of the other toppings at this point we will just be making it straight through i accidentally went under that way that wasn't the smartest thing in the world but sometimes you forget which paths are closed off and stuff like that not the biggest deal we were able to make it through fast but that will be that section then for this one there should be another taxi we can see up there but we we don't really care about it we'll just be continuing our way onto the right and here we're also going to be entering another person's house but this time the person is actually going to be there just sitting there watching tv and then we kill their wall maybe that was a family heirloom and that they've been keeping for generations and now it's gone forever but that's also not my problem and by the way when you really think about it are all these people trying to stop us are they the bad guys or are we the bad guys because to be fair we are trying to destroy this tower so we're literally destroying their homes and probably killing a ton of them so you know maybe we're not as good of people as we might think eh, is what it is i'm not gonna worry about it too much we'll be making it through these dudes i want to get through that and that should be the end of gustavo and brick we switch back to that guy which means we're going through the taxi and this time pizza face is going to be our taxi driver so that's pretty interesting but it's just time to make it through the end this is a pretty standard run and by the way while this is happening i just want to remind you that you are loved you make the people around you much happier they're glad you're part of their lives and never forget that but we'll be making it to the end of that door and that'll be that level done which another b grade i'll take it now for our movement we want to be heading over here but actually what i realized after that is i went a little bit too far because before we go over to the left we first want to do this ice level and also apparently accidentally super jump all the way over there but we have refrigerator refrigerator freezerator and this level is amazing it's so much fun now the first nice thing about it is this is an ice level but they didn't force ice fit physics on it i'm not the biggest fan of ice physics in most games they are done well sometimes but in this one they just didn't even bother with it which is kind of surprising because a lot of games love using their ice physics even though they're not the most fun thing in the world and if you're wondering what i mean by ice physics i mean like where it makes you more slippery and it's sometimes harder to move i mean they can be done well they have been done well in some cases but sometimes you just shouldn't add them and i appreciate that they didn't for this level now the gimmick of this level is you see there are those hot things that you can grab onto and that's how you get through some ice and some other stuff which we'll be using to destroy ice but things like snow those are easy enough to get through on our own now through here we have a really fun run we get to do where i do a super jump up there do some crouches that way i can make it through there we turn on the heater which gets rid of some of the ice stuff and i accidentally crouched through that that wasn't what i meant but we can make it up there getting our toppings and we're now on this section we want to do a couple of jumps just through all of these enjoying the scenery and all the stuff like look at mario and luigi in the background or at least this universe is mario and luigi they're looking good and yeah right here we're just running to the right until we can do a body slam there unfortunately didn't go the correct direction but i did keep myself from hitting that electricity which i do appreciate now through here we want to get a couple of jumps on these fire things which give you like a little jet pack for a while it's kind of fun and like i said before they also allow you to go through that ice but we'll be using these here so we can then turn on that heater that gets rid of a ton of this stuff we can just go straight 
straight through there and into this door where here is where Santa is going to get introduced. Now, Santa, he is not the jolly person that everybody says he is. Look at his faces as he's giving us presents, but they're enemies. This man, Santa, he's trying to murder us. He isn't a jolly guy who's given presents. He's a jolly guy who's given death, which is what I'm supposed to do. But that's fine. You know what, Santa? I will deal with you later and you will regret this. Now we're coming up here. I like this pink area. I like the design of it. I like the design of so many things in this game. I haven't really said enough about that. So many cool things about this game, like all the different animations, the music, all the emotions that all the characters have. Just so much goes into how amazing this game is. And if you haven't gotten it, if you haven't played it yourself, I definitely recommend it. Even after watching this video, it's still fun to play for yourself. Try to get good speedrun times. It's an awesome time. But anyways, we will make it through that ice. And here's where we're going to get the super spicy pizza. And this time, spice is actually good. Pepino is actually pretty happy he's spicy because now we can fly and you can actually fly forever. There's no limit on how long you're able to fly for. So we can literally just hold this button, go all the way up and also not worry about any of these ice enemies because they just die automatically. Like even those guys with their pointy noses, it doesn't matter. We just kill them even if we aren't in our ball form. It's so much fun being in this after having to deal with all these enemies, all their icy stuff. And Santa, he is none the wiser. He's still throwing presents at us, but these presents literally do nothing. Like Santa, you're just causing all these people to go to their deaths. Maybe he's not even on their side. He just likes seeing death and destruction. <laughs> yeah, I guess that might be the lore of Santa now that I'm thinking about it. But anyways, Pepino, we just have to run through with him taking some random places. We don't always want to be flying, even though you can fly forever. It is better to be on the ground. That way we can get up to mock speed whenever possible. Now we'll come down here, do a couple of jumps, make it through all the ice guys. They are not looking like they're having the best day of their lives. Still, Santa Santa has the biggest smile on his face. He does not care at all. He's seeing all these deaths happening around him. He's like, haha, more, more. Santa, I mean, chill out, man. <laughs> like, stop smiling so much, please. These people care about you. They're trusting you. But this isn't enough rampage for Santa. He will keep going for the rest of his life. Anyways, this is about at the end of the level. So at least there's not going to be any more death and destruction after this. We're making it through there. We do have an A grade, which I do appreciate. And that'll be the level. It's been a while since Pepino's been this happy. Now, before we go on to other levels, what we want to do is actually this boss gate, since we have the perfect amount of money to actually get through there. And here is where we're going to be fighting against fake Pepino. Let's just look at these guys. They're literally the same person. It's hilarious. But when we actually get in the game, we're not the same person. Uh, fake Pepino looks interesting, but basically how you take him out is you have to hit him twice. That'll make him vulnerable. And then you have to hit him a third time. He will also in between each of these attacks, he sends out these other fake Pepinos that will also try to attack us, but we can't really do anything against them. Now, right away, as soon as he spawns, I want to hit him the first time. He'll do his attack, and then we want to go for the second time. Now we have these frog jumping attacks, and what we can do is just move to the left and right. It's a pretty easy one to dodge. Then he'll come back out. I hit him right away, and then he starts running around the entire place. He's going crazy. Fake Pepino in general. I wonder how many animation frames the fake Pepino has, because the real one has more than 5,000, and this one doesn't look like he has too little himself. But going for another frog jumping attack. We can just wait that out. Hit him right there. Nice and easy. Now we get a whole row of Pepinos. We just have to find the opening between them. And I can also do a parry if I want to, just for a little bit of fun factor. But here he's going to throw off his head. His brain is exposed, which is definitely an interesting attack. And then these guys, they don't even throw off their heads. Their heads just pop off, which is kind of terrifying, but I'm not going to worry about it. And finally, for the last attack, he has this star attack where he just jumps up, spawns stars all around him, but pretty easy. That's the first part of the fight. Now we have to deal with these guys. They're all using their star attack, but this is probably like the easiest part of the fight. It's so easy to dodge. You literally just sit here in the middle and every once in a while you have to jump. But now Pepino is going to come back out. And this time there isn't breaks between his fights. So we'll hit him twice, hit him for the third time, and he's just going to keep going. But the challenge comes in. He's also going to spawn the other fake Pepinos in between his attacks, and they can do a good amount of damage. They can be annoying like like right there. Thankfully, he was still vulnerable, so it didn't really matter. But especially attacks like these, when also the other fake Pepinos are here too, 
they can very easily hit you if you're not careful. But if we hit the real fake Pepino right before another one of the fake Pepinos hits us, then we actually won't get damaged by them. So we can kind of use that to our advantage. Coming down at the final attacks though, I do a couple of taunts to keep myself in the air, hit that. And because I hit him, we didn't get hit by the head. Then we can do this star attack, which I just want to focus there. And that's perfect. But no, that's not the end of the fight because at this point, fake Pepino is chasing after us and we have to run away from him. So we're just going to try to keep our speed up. This is honestly one of the most fun parts of this fight, just because it's a very satisfying way to go. I mean, to be fair, there are some annoying places like those. I can't dive there, which could be a little bit better. I wish it was a bit smoother, but it is fun. It has good music. And finally, at the end, we get to see Bruno's Pizza, which for some reason we went inside. And yeah, that's that fight. So like usual, we will get our key. And that's also going to be a B. Really long boss fight too. That was over three minutes. But to be fair, it did have a lot going on with it. Anyways, it is time to go to our next thing. We're going to skip this key door from now. Keep going over to the right. Do a couple of jumps. See our boys Gustavo and Brooke just having a good time. I'm so glad they're friends now. But now now we have Papibot Factory. This level, amazing level. I love it so much. Right at the start, what we want to do, a couple of jumps. We see all these hot dog guys. They're so adorable, man. Just so many creatures in this game are adorable. That doesn't stop us from killing them, but I can appreciate that they are adorable in the first place. Anyways, at the start, I want to get a speed up there. Then I want to go on this left wall. That way, it puts me in the perfect spot to go and get this next speed up. We do a couple of movements through there, dodge all the electricity, and we see a lot of these robots. I don't know if the robots are supposed to also be Pepino. It would make sense because it is the Pepibot factory, but they do not very much look like me. So I don't know what that's about. Anyways, we will get our first topping right there. We just make it through all those guys a little bit sloppy and now they're just completely in my way. A little awkward. But now at this section, we get these, which can either speed you up or slow you down because these platforms are also moving one direction or the other, but that helps us get our speed up, make sure we get mock speed and we just barely were able to jump over that electric electricity. That was pretty nice. But this section is also really fun. We do want to go to the left over here though. That way we can get our next topping and then go back over to the right where there's going to be this door. And they're really fun because you keep your momentum as you're getting grabbed. So if you get up to mock speed and then you get grabbed by a hand, you'll still be at mock speed. That way you can go through the right blocks. Like right here, I want to jump into that. It will turn me over and we can hit that block right away, which is perfect. Now there's some more robots all around hitting me with different things. I'm not too worried about you. That's going to be our third topping we can head up here and now we get turned into a pizza box yep so we are a pizza box that can twirl around which allows us to go faster and we can also fly but the more flaps you do before hitting the ground the lower you're going to be able to fly with each turn so we want to hit the ground every once in a while to make sure we can keep going finally we finish out some of those rats hit the wall and now it's pizza time we got to make it through and this is a pretty fun pizza time especially with the box power up it's just such a weird power up to have in a game and why pizza tower is such a cool game like it does so many weird things that make no sense but they just work for some reason anyways back to the box for this one it's extremely easy all we have to do is jump and twirl every once in a while and we can skip all of those electricity things pretty much no challenge here we just kind of go there we see our priest friend we will get him do a couple of turns through the various places and now we have to jump over these things against the platform which is also going against us but that's perfect now this area most annoying area in this entire level because you have robots trying to attack you and also the cheese blocks which are being very annoying as you can see here probably could have done that in a much better way not gonna lie but we are almost to the end of the level we just got to get our pizza box right there we have to do a couple of flies and you do see the door but then a hand comes down and it takes the door up which is actually hilarious now we actually want to race this door and be much faster than it so i'm going to take these wall climbs then go over here into this box. Then I can go back out of the box and it saves us a little bit of time of having to wait for the hand normally. So we can go to the door like a second faster and get another B. Now there is one more regular level in this floor, but we're actually going to skip it. Since like I said before, we only need a total of 86 toppings. That means we can skip two levels and one of them's on the fourth floor. One of them is on the fifth because these are the longest floors by far, especially compared to like the first and second floor. But now it's time for pizza scare. And this is another really cool level. Honestly, every single level on 
on the fifth floor are really cool just because there's so many cool features in them like this one we're gonna get this exorcist who basically gives us power to kill these ghosts go straight through them it's really fun and then we're also gonna get this ghost king guy who's gonna try to attack us he'll turn into various things that we have to jump over or ignore and i accidentally just <laughs> jumped over and ignored that topping but yeah this is just such a cool feature where he's just going after us i almost fell down into the pit we're just not going to talk about it but sometimes he'll also help us by trying to hurt us like in that scenario but yeah we just want to keep track of him sometimes he'll get trapped in tvs so we do have to save him as well and it's just making sure we don't get hit by his things by doing some jumps like that that was actually perfect probably the best i've ever done that section now and here what we want to do is grab that top and go around have the power to make sure we can go through the ghosts and make it through here the guy will electrocute us but honestly not the worst electrocution because it did send us upwards so i'll take it now here i want to do a super jump because we actually have to save our king ghost dudes so i'm gonna make it through here there's a couple of wizards do they have like phones but i gotta save my boy he's able to push us so we can go through that rat block and yeah just such a cool level i know i've said that about so many levels in this game but there's so much thought and care that go into all these all the extra features in each of the levels are super fun and it really keeps a lot of these things original so now what we want to do is head up here i will grab that guy then we can do a quick jump go through here head downwards into this door there is going to be that wizard don't worry man i did see ya i know you're trying to kill me and our guy the king is still trying to attack us thankfully we were able to make it through everything easy enough now that we have the power from the exorcist we actually can't get affected by pretty much anything so we don't even have to worry about the king but at this point we have to trap him because if we do want to hit the john wall then we got to get him out of the way so we're going to put him right in that tv go over to the wall make it pizza time and then we got to go back and save him and that's because even though we might hate each other we do need each other we're pretty much best friends we just don't even know it so i'm gonna save my boy grab him right there then head back over to the right which now he'll make me into a ball so i can get through that rat block almost at the end now we will get a nice exorcist part accidentally jumped off that wall don't worry about it and also got poked by those dudes because i did jump off the wall it happens but i want to go over here i didn't want to go all the way to that part because i didn't want to get turned into a ball there but that is fine we are getting to the later level in this speed run and once you get later into a speed run especially as intensive as this it becomes very hard to play well and remember everything but so far we've honestly been doing a pretty good job now we will go through here we have a couple of jumps i don't like this room because it's always a little awkward if i just did a super jump right in the middle i probably would have been fine but kind of messed that up doesn't matter got all the toppings we needed we can make it through this door there will be a couple of ghost knives but that doesn't matter too much because we're almost to the end the king is still trying his best to make sure we don't make it to the end but at this point i think you just got to give up because we're definitely going to be fine i do want to make sure i don't get messed up by that ball thing and then i get hit by a knife into the ball thing but that's fine almost at the end there is a lot to worry about with this level but there we go that's another one done and another b so now it's time for a super cool level what we're gonna do is go run up here and you can see that there's some interesting animatronics you might say and this level is called don't make a sound you can see there are a couple of these guys just in the background they definitely won't be evil at all okay what am i saying of course they're gonna be evil because basically how this level works is there are all these guard bots and they're trying to catch us and if they see us and then five seconds goes by and we don't kill them then they're gonna send out one of the animatronics to chase after us you can see one animatronic is coming after me right now but i was able to get away from him just because we're faster now with these guys i do not want to deal with that guy just yet so i will attack them make sure that they die and if we kill them before they reach their five seconds then we're completely fine but in some scenarios we're just not going to worry about them because we're almost be to the end of the level anyways like these guys there were some that saw me it doesn't really matter because we're far enough the guy is chasing after me but i can just make a run through there and once we make it to the end of that part of the level we no longer have to worry about them so yeah this level is basically just about making sure that if you are going to get caught make sure it's a good spot where the animatronics aren't by you there is one coming but we have plenty of time to be completely fine so that'll be good for that one now this one i'm going to taunt right away that'll send the guy out right away and we need him there to open up one of the doors that way we can continue going through and thankfully we're fast enough to where it doesn't really matter now for here i want to make sure i deal with these guys and just keep 
destroying them. I don't really like taking risks on this level, especially because it is pretty long and I can make mistakes like that where I just run into the electricity. But now for this one, I will come back, destroy that dude. We do see that there is a topping over here. So I'll do a ground pound onto that, destroy that dude. And I actually want to go to the right and come up here, destroy him, get some speed, destroy all three of those teeth guy. That way there's no worrying about the animatronics. Those guys will see me, but at this point we're already too far are gone so it doesn't matter and i do want to deal with both of these dudes i will just slap him up and i always like dealing with the top tooth guy because he'll always see you and you can make it away from the animatronic even if that dude does see you but it's just so much safer if you're playing it smart anyways now we're in this room so what we want to do is a quick taunt go over there we see the sausage guy with his knife just coming after us actually looking kind of terrifying but i'll do another taunt there we'll send him out he's coming through us but we actually had to do it that way he deals with a bunch of this stuff he's gonna get rid of all these electricity plugs so that will be nice for us in the future and in general we're just making it through where we see all of the animatronics at once now what i'm gonna do here is once we get past a little bit farther instead of holding a direction and the run button i'm only gonna hold the run button because then pepino will automatically turn to the right direction instead of like stopping himself that's really important for this part of the level and there we go now after getting terrorized by all of the animatronics this entire level we now get a shotgun yeah the game gives us a chance to fight back against the people that have been making our lives miserable and it's so much fun like look at these guys boom just dead easiest thing of my life it feels so good especially the first time you're playing this level because it's super easy to get attacked by these guys and you get a little jump scare every time you do get attacked which by the way the jump scares aren't really that scary and i do recommend looking them up if you've never seen them before because some of them are pretty funny but anyways we'll be making it through these we have a couple of these red dudes i need to climb on this wall they keep bouncing me all over them excuse me guys please i also accidentally just killed the animatronic before he even knew we existed which is kind of hilarious but we're almost at the end of this level there will be this dude kill him really quickly and yeah at this point there's pretty much no chance for anyone to attack us there will be one last animatronic here he will be coming over i'll just hit him with my shotgun and yeah that's what you guys get you shouldn't have come and try to attack pepino you already know that this man is insane and he's so insane that i was just going and attacking a wall over and over again i did not mean to do that but finally you can see all the animatronics are gone from the stage and we make it to the end really good that time and that's gonna be me so now for our very final level in this entire game or at least the regular levels we're gonna be coming up here and this one is gonna be war yeah like that's actually the name of it and war is such a cool level i really like it first of all because we get another shotgun now the shotgun isn't always the nicest thing especially speed running wise because we can no longer grab which as you might remember as i said at the beginning of the speed run grabbing and then crouching allows us to go really fast right away but i mean it's not the biggest deal in the world and i mean we get a shotgun so can i complain too much but for this one it's a really fun level because you're gonna see that it's not just everybody attacking us but there are gonna be two factions that are going to war together and each faction is trying to take out the other we also have to make sure that our timer doesn't go to zero so we're gonna be hitting these computers and then that gives us some extra time to make sure a bomb doesn't go off or something like that to be honest i've never actually seen the timer go to zero so i'm not sure what happens when it does but i'm sure it can't be a good thing so i'm gonna be making sure that we're all good now we're taking this guy all the way over using another one of these rockets it's been a while since we've seen a rocket you know that's a nice little throwback but there's a bunch of these guys just trying to drop different weapons on us and stuff trying to murder us very clearly but we will take another computer that is nice and just run our way through but there you saw that that guy just shot at another creature not everything is against us for once in our lives i don't know if the other people are on our team or if they're just kind of there but they're doing something i gotta appreciate that anyways making it through getting some nice speed we have a good amount of our toppings so far we only need one more there's war going on all around us anyways through here we are almost to the end actually this is also a really short level at least compared to some of these other later levels but here i want to grab this rocket ship then go down and pretty much i can just hold downwards to make sure we won't hit any walls make it through that rat and we have tons of time at this point i don't even know if we'd be able to use all this time if we tried but by the way there are more fake pepinos now coming after us are these the same fake pepino that we fought in the boss fight or are they someone different i'm not exactly sure but they're doing something not something i really care to know though i do want to do a super jump accidentally messed that up and got licked because of it <laughs> yeah one of their moves is they lick us so 
Oh, what an interesting game, man. Anyways, we got to use that pizza cannon. That way we can get rid of the rat. Then we'll just be running through here, doing a couple of turns. I will shoot there and we get a super big speed boost at that point. Almost to the end now, just a little bit farther to go. So much stuff going on around us. And it's just crazy to think like not everybody is even going against me. I mean, most of these guys hate me, but some of these guys, you know, they're on my side. Maybe, I guess we still don't know for sure. Still, I will get all this speed up here and our last topping should also be there. Then I like doing a super jump onto here. We're going to take care of that cannon since it's really annoying. There's going to be another one right there. That one's also really annoying. Then we'll take out those targets and that's our last regular level done. So now, as you can see, once Mr. Stick comes down here, we have the perfect amount of money to buy the final boss gate. And this boss gate starts out pretty interesting where we're just running forward for a while. And eventually after running, we see someone is showering and they come out and yeah, it's pizza face. He's kind of like, oh, I did not expect you to be here that soon, which to be fair, it's only been an hour and 21 minutes on the timer. So I've been going pretty fast, but it is time for the final boss fight. And this is a really interesting one. So to start out, what we have to do is he'll spawn enemies and we have to throw them upwards at him. That's going to get him vulnerable and then we can hit him with a regular attack. So I'll do that twice right there. Pretty easy so far, but as things go on, he'll start sending out more enemies. Thankfully, I was able to get him a third time, but he'll do that. That sends out two people. We got to find him. He dodges me. He's kind of insane. But yeah, this first part of the boss fight isn't the hardest in the world, but if you're not careful, you definitely can get hit and just die. But I just got to make sure I'm paying attention to where all the enemies are hitting him as much as possible. That'll be another one right there. He'll go for another hit on the ground. There's that guy. The dude is running away. Dude, I'm trying to kill Pizza Face. And how did, what, what was the interaction that just happened there? I'm not exactly sure, but I just got to hit him one more time. That'll be the first part of the fight done. But here's where Pizza Face comes out and reveals this dude. And and yeah, now we got to fight him. And this guy is an interesting fighter because he's going to give us a gun. A lot of these bosses just like giving us guns for some reason. And he has a couple of different attacks that we have to dodge while we hit him multiple times. I'm pretty much just always going to be spamming my attack button and hoping that things work out here. He'll use the TV attack. Pretty easy one, all things considered. I'm not really going to worry about it too much. There are also going to be gears that Pizza Face tosses. Those guys, they're always going to send out forks that come all over the place. Now he'll use the gun weapon. We just have to dodge that. Not the hardest one in the world, the TNT. I do not know how we survived there. I was kind of just going to accept getting hit, but it worked out perfectly. And at this point, he's almost dead. Just a couple more attacks. And that's going to be that part of the fight done. But he's not actually dead. He's pretty much just lying. And he's like, hey, I'm all good. Then he's going to send out all of the old bosses that we fought earlier. So we got to go one by one and do some rematches. Starting out with this dude, right away, we're going to go and hit Pepperman with a combo. Now he's going to try his attacks. And each time, instead of doing a single hit of damage, we're going to do a whole combo that does four damage. He'll do that. We hit him with another combo. It's honestly a really good feeling part. It's not the hardest in the world because I mean, we fought all these guys already, but he'll do one more jump. We have to wait for him to hit the wall. We can do that. And that is going to be pepper man done. You only have to hit them four times. Now for this next one, what we can do is go and grab our boy Gustavo, hit him into the vigilante. That's going to make him vulnerable. And we'll just do that over and over again. You see, we do it there. We got to go speed up, make sure we're able to hit him a second time. Then Gustavo comes again. I'll hit the vigilante. Dude hits me with his own attack. Thankfully, they stay vulnerable for a good amount of time usually. And only one more attack we have to do. Perfect. That's what we like to see. So that's two of the four rematches done for this one. He's going to send that up, but we can still use Gustavo. Now you don't have to use Gustavo for these parts of the fights, but it makes it a lot easier and faster if we do it correctly. I just kind of completely messed up right there, but we're not going to worry about it. He'll go for this one where I can just taunt the those. I'll just go hit him with that. We'll get him a second time. Easy. And only one more time on the noise. I'll hit him with a nice taunt, then hit him again. And that should be all of the noises abilities done. Now we see fake Pepino. Unfortunately, I just completely missed my Gustavo hit, which was a little embarrassing, but we'll hit him the second time. And this man looks way too happy when we're beating him up with attacks. Also, I just missed Gustavo again, but that's fine. Anyways, he looks way too happy just in general. I don't like it. So I will hit him that time. I don't know where Gustavo went that time, but he'll try to use his brain attack. I will just go and grab our boy. Finally, I was actually able to hit him and just one more attack. He'll do these stars. I will go grab our boy. Kind of messed that up. Doesn't matter either way. I should have just went for the attack if I'm going to be honest, but there we go. That is going to be all the rematches done, but we got to fight this guy again and he has interesting attacks. So first he's going to
to jump over us. He's going to use this attack. And then he's kind of just going to laugh at us. But he's laughing to his death. I don't know why he's acting like this is so much fun in games when we're literally murdering this man. It's the easiest thing in my life. But that'll be the first set. Now for the second set, he'll use his stomp attack. We want to make sure that we're in the air. Otherwise, we're going to get bounced up. Now for this one, he's going to start using two attacks together. So first he'll use that attack. Then he'll use the fly swatter one. We do a nice taunt in the air. We're able to take him out just like usual. He'll also use two attacks in a row for this time. He'll use the stomp attack first. Then he's using the boxing gloves. We can hit him. I don't know why you're still laughing, man. This is not a laughing matter. And now he'll go and use all three attacks in a row. So first he'll use the boxing glove, then the fly swatter, then the stomp. We hit him and Pepino does not stop. He just keeps going, hitting him over and over again, not even giving him a chance to stop getting hurt. This must be the most painful thing in existence. I don't know what we have against this guy so much. I mean, he has been laughing at us this entire time, making fun of our anxiety. And then we're going to go in with the Rock Lee move where we just destroy this man. Look how much effort we're taking. And finally, that goes and destroys the whole tower. Now, before that cutscene starts, we actually want to go ahead and restart just so it can be a bit faster. And now all we have to do is make it out of the tower before it collapses. We're also going to be getting all of our friends together and making sure they come with us. First, we get to Gustavo. Then we're going to get Mr. Stick. And it's basically going through the entire tower, seeing all the memories you made throughout this entire speed run. And it's a super fun time. I know I said we were done with regular levels. I guess you could kind of count this as a regular level. And this is definitely one of the best regular levels if we are counting it. It just is such a good time seeing all the different mechanics that we've used through this. Like we get to use the shotgun again. That's a great time. We see the Papi bots. They're trying to do their thing. Kind of annoying. We see these people who are from war. We see some superheroes. We get to use this trash can to jump off. We get to see the rat balloon and these guys, which are grabbing us upwards. We see Santa. He's finally back. What is he doing over here? Santa, I already completely destroyed you. Why are you still trying? But yeah, in general, this is just such a fun part. And by the way, we don't even save our friends. We're saving the other bosses as well. Like you can see, we got fake Pepino. He's coming with us. I don't know if we're just friends with him now. Maybe he was just misunderstood and these guys are actually good guys. But we just want to keep being on our way. Kind of just rock into the music as well. It's some nice calm and music as we're trying to escape this tower that could very easily murder us. I also don't know what all these enemies are doing. They should not be trying to attack us. They should be trying to escape. We are going to die if we stay on this tower for any longer. But we also get the sausage. You know, great times I had with that guy as I was racing against that horse. I'll never forget you horse. But now we want to get our rocket power go through that rat keep our stuff up not my best movement ever but then we get in the olive then go and slip on a banana into another olive amazing sequence of events but now it is time for some more golf yeah you thought we were done with mini golf didn't you we do have to make it through a little bit farther we also will get the noise but i believe the guy is coming up in a second i guess first we got to go and take this water path there's also the banana monkeys monkey i don't want to deal with you right now man i'm just gonna hop on you out of the way okay and I might have said it's time for golf a little bit too soon. Okay, here it is. So we're bringing our guy over. Even now, we have to get him. And we're just going to leave him in this tower to die, I guess. Because after that, he's not coming with us. I feel like he should be enough of a friend to come with us. But I guess we don't really care. Now we also have this dude who's still trying to shoot us with his cannonballs. I mean, you failed so much in the past, man. Why are you still trying at this point? But you got to give it to him. At least he's trying. And he's also going to help us just like usual. Not even doing his job. He kind of sucks at it but we'll be making it through here i accidentally did a super jump there i didn't exactly want to do that but we also got to get mortha chicken you already know we're not gonna forget mortha chicken that's our boy and there's also gonna be these wind sections with the fans but now after we make it through all that we get to probably one of the most satisfying parts about this game which is just running for a really long time we'll do that then we get a huge body slam go straight back into a run and this entire last section is just Pepino running for the life of him. He's going insanely fast. There's nothing that can really mess up this run, and it just feels so good. Especially after having to do so much actual movement, we just get to run, and we keep going. And finally, we will skip those because it would stun us a little bit, but there we go. That will be time. We officially made it out of the pizza tower in one hour, 31 minutes, and nine seconds. All right, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.